All right, what's up guys? So just a couple days ago, I was eating some delicious Chinese food by the water in this amazing forest and that's when it hit me. Um, I really wanna take this van camping, man. I have had this van, me and my girlfriend have had this van for a couple months now and I still have yet to take it on a camping trip. So that's what I decided to do. But first I had to stop and get some supplies, like I had to get some food cheap food, but still something creative because I wanted to cook some creative stuff. Then I stopped to go to see if there's anything else cool that I could find, and that's when I hit the jackpot. In my opinion, man, I found this amazing little pot, I found a camping chair, and I found this Coleman name brand cooler, man, and it was huge. It was perfect. All I really had to do was clean it up a little bit, so I took it home, emptied it out, and cleared it out with soapy water and all that, and it looked brand freaking new. So I cleaned out the back of the van, put it in there, packed up everything in the van, and we were finally ready to go. So yeah, now that we're all caught up to speed, that's pretty much where this story begins. Oh yeah, and it ends in kind of a strange way. The camping trip. First solo camping trip in the van. Let's go. Okay, so I made it out here, but the guy, the gate to get in is locked. And this is like a one-way thing here. So it says do not enter over there. So I don't want to drive in this way. So I don't know if I'm supposed to wait for the guy to show up. This is about to be my own little private getaway. <laughs> man, we're doing it, man. We're doing it. Yeah, man, this is it. Like, oh my freaking goodness. The only problem I see so far is the fact that uh, the power supply is like way too far away from the actual van. And I did not bring in an extension cord, so. <sighs> but for right now, we home, man, we home. I think I might actually hold off on starting a fire right now because it's like I kind of want to preserve like the actual real wood that will actually burn for like a couple hours until nighttime when it gets a little bit chilly. So first things first, let's just cook our first little meal of the trip and uh, I'm gonna cook something simple. I'm gonna save like the chicken and fish and all that stuff for uh, like dinner time snacks and stuff like that. <sighs> Yeah, that water was a little bit dirty. I don't know, I have water in a bottle. I guess I could use that. I wanted to try to be, you know, a wilderness man and, and do it out here, but, or do it with the water in there, but actually I could use that beef broth, I think. Where's it at, where's it at, where's it at? Boom. I promise y'all, this will be the most simple meal we make this whole entire trip, so. Don't be like, oh dang, he's just out here making noodles, man. God is good, life is good, and I'm just, I just feel blessed, man. You don't need a lot in life. This to me is a blessing. Yeah, maybe it would be nice to have a big old mansion one day and all that stuff, man. But is it really necessary? Like, I feel just as happy. Like this, I just, I just, I feel just as happy, man. Not that I know what it's like to have a mansion, but you know what I'm saying? I've watched enough YouTube to know that everybody that lives in a mansion ain't happy. So just counting my blessings out here. All right, there we go. We got ourselves a little fire going. I gotta keep feeding it and stuff like that to keep it burning because right now it's mostly this stuff and the little twigs that are burning All right, so we finally got a good fire going. This is what I was missing right here. Nice warm Whew. Definitely added that extra little touch out here freedom man freedom I found a bunch of wood that's like thin that'll actually be able to like break apart hopefully because I ain't got no little axe. I need some like actual wood that'll burn for like a good while and this stuff, it'll be gone within like 10, 15 minutes. Whew. Um, I brought the van a lot closer to the tree because I'm gonna try to find a way, man, to get power from that post to the van. It is bathroom time. I think I'm gonna have to go like deep into these other woods that aren't actually like for camping. I'll be back. All right guys, I found the perfect log to keep me warm all night. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I ain't that stupid. I ain't that crazy, okay? 
Yeah, man, this is what I needed in life so bad. Y'all don't even know, man. I've been waiting years just to do the simplistic things like this, man. Not even about traveling the country, just getting out, man. Getting out, living a little bit, enjoying, enjoying the small things, man. That really does, it really does impact me in a certain way, man. It really does, I don't know, man. It does something for my mind and my spirit and my soul, you know? All right, we have about like maybe an hour, probably less, like 45 minutes left of like actual daylight. And uh, I still gotta figure out how I'm gonna get the electric to the whole van because it's only running through those lights to that tree. And I still have to figure out how to get it to work inside the van so we can run the heater and some lights and stuff throughout the night. Getting one last little shimmer of sunshine coming through over there. It's perfect, just how it is. Oh yeah, and I had to cover up all this stuff because the rain started coming down, so but it stopped now. I just threw some of this delicious Indian food on the stove and uh, it kind of just looks like pea and potato soup, but it just has that like Indian food flavor. So yeah, I'm telling you, man, the simple things in life, they really, really do give you the most joy. You don't need all this other stuff. You really, really don't. The society, the world, man, it'll make you think you do, but a fire pit, a van, some little Christmas lights in a little stove out in the woods. Like what else do you really need, man? I wish my girlfriend was here, but no, besides that, what else you really need, man? I got these little tortilla shells, um, little tortilla wraps on this grate right here, kind of like singeing up a little bit, getting a little toasty. And then uh, I'm gonna eat it like tacos. I'm just gonna put it inside of there. It's, it's gonna be so good. I'm gonna eat this. I'm gonna call my girlfriend, talk to her for a little bit. And then um, I'll probably catch up with you guys again once the sun's down. It's been an experience so far. I'm having so much fun and thank y'all for being here so far and catch up with y'all in a bit. All right, guys, so we are pretty much set up for the night here under the stars Got a little light over here and then i threw up a bunch more actual like colored christmas lights and some other like lights on top of the van to light it up a little bit more but this is what we got man it's literally like my own private getaway like look at this <laughs> So it is going on like 8 30 9 o'clock and uh i've been out here just chilling by the fire talking on the phone with my girlfriend for a while um that's why i'm lacking a little bit of nighttime footage i'm trying to get some now and make up for it but uh i actually do even though i'm solo camping right now i, I do have a buddy stopping out to hang out for a bit um we're just gonna cook a little bit of stuff talk up for a little bit talk about some life and all that and then uh he's gonna head out and i'm gonna crash because i'm already exhausted man i woke up so early to get ready to come out here and <sighs> I'm honestly ready for sleep, man. You really tell so much from here, but you'll know that when the oil is ready, based on the fact that it'll ripple, you'll see like a little bit of smoke. So what is it? You said it's, that's just like uh, stew beef. It's already chopped up. I added like some salt, pepper, and a uh, granulated garlic. You already garlic. seasoned it all. Yeah. <laughs> Everything. I didn't know like what seasonings you may have out here. All the, might have a little bit of that too. So that's gonna be good. Poured a little bit of flour in. I have a couple other seasonings. <laughs> For like all the it way. It smells good already. Yeah, because I'm gonna put the, I'm gonna do the beef, and then I'll add the peppers and stuff back in. Onions, you know when they're done because they'll like turn clear. Not to attract the bears out here. Videos, and I was like, I'm Oh, do not want to put all that in there. <laughs> Is there an egg in there? Nope. No. Yeah, it smells amazing. Thank you for cooking this delicious meal. It's way better than my street tacos. Straight up protein and vegetables. Yeah, that's good. Five stars.
right guys so this is how my night is ending uh i decided that like i was using um those christmas lights as my extension cord the whole entire time and it was charging my phone it was doing everything fine and for some reason man like i thought i could plug in the space heater and as soon as i did that man i plugged it in and all the power cut off all the power shut off in the van and all my chargers all the lights around me it just went pitch black and like i had no heat no nothing man no way to charge my phone without turning the van on my buddy josh he was just like uh dude if this is all you're gonna have like you gotta, you gotta get out of here just go home for the night you know come back tomorrow come back whenever but at least i had a fun night a fun day fun night cooked some good food had some good hangouts but <sighs> thank you all for being here this is how this video is ending. It's a it's a Gary video, man. It's a that man named Gary video. Do you expect it to actually go right? I don't. I don't know why I did. Live and you learn, I guess, man. <laughs> Peace.